have an appointment with Buhari regarding Kanu's release, Soludo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To enable the rapid release of Mazen Namda Kano, the imprisoned leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPUB, Governor Chukwu Masaludo of Anambra State claimed he has scheduled an appointment with President Muhammad Buhari and was waiting for a meeting. In a quarterly statewide briefing on the actions of his government, Saludo, who made this announcement on Monday, reaffirmed his resolve to secure Kano's release. In particular, he has hoped to discuss Kano's release during his meeting with Buhari, which he has said was scheduled. Remember how the governor demanded Kano's release at the All Progressive Grand Alliance APG APGAS campaign launch in Oka and offered to act as a charity if the federal government found it difficult to grant him unconditional freedom. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Obara Kamalami, responded to Saludo's plea by stating that Saludo had just made a statement and had not requested Kano's release through the court or his office. Saludo expressed a desire to see Buhari and discuss the necessity of Kano's release with him. Saludo believed that Kano's release would enable him to intervene in places where some group utilized sexist agitation to support criminal activities. Regarding Inamde Kano, he remarked, his release does not imply that insecurity will be eliminated. The decision is best for the southeast region as a whole. When I visited Khan in prison, he kind of was pained by the degree of crime linked to the agitation. It was an abomination, he said. Everyone has turned into a freedom fighter today, using it as a cover for their criminal activity. The truth is that he will be able to tell the difference between real freedom fighters and criminals if he's allowed to go free. A political issue is still keeping him from moving forward. To officially deliver the letter to the president, I am expecting appointment conf confirmation. And this is what I've been saying since. Kanu will, the release of Kanu, you will know the ones that are real and you know the ones that are fake. By the time him come out, say this thing, no be so it go be. You come and say, come talk, say, lie lie, this is what you talk, no go be. They will now know that, okay, we are one of those people that is having to fuel this fire. Oh, yeah, they are going to now pick you up. Do you understand? But it's when Kano come and they say, okay, first of all, I'm sensing what will be done is he's going to come and give, a, a make a speech. From making that speech, he will come tell him and say, enough is enough, no more sit at home. First of all, why he don't do that? Secondly, it's not true, true, he's... Release will not guarantee um, the crime to drop. But you go can't know the angle where the can they come from. Can they don't come aside? Talk to in people. In people don't come. The remaining ones will not come. Anything when I use when I see when I use the eyes do anything. You, you, you understand? You go even tell on that. Do you not understand? <laughs> now so you suppose you be. Huh? This is how it is actually supposed to be. Okay. And the thing is <laughs> Well, they say Saluda has actually not officially uh, come outside and say, oh, uh, from uh, from his office, maybe write the letter. Say just the talk, but where could they look, Sha? Where could they look? A lot of people come outside and say Saluda is trying to redeem himself. <laughs> but the thing is, truth or truth or not, whether he's trying to redeem himself or not, we all know that Saluda, you know, the, the, uh, what's it called? He is actually facing a lot of problems. Insecurity has been one of them. And there is no way you talk about the insecurity in the southeast region that you are not going to uh, come uh, call the indigenous people of Biafra. There is no way that you are going to call the indigenous indigenous people of Biafra. And uh, this man you cannot call um, Namde Kano. That is it. They are actually interwoven issues. Hmm? They are interwoven issues. But me, oh, what I think, oh, is whatever they would do, they should do it. That man don't overstay for inside prison. It's going to two years. By June or July, it is going to be two years. Eh? Make on that. Look into the matter. Make them release this man. And the thing is, after all, all charges have been dropped against him. I don't even know why he's actually still in detention. I cannot put... I know if he talks it, not the reason we make this man or this guy there for detention. Now be this. Whatever the case may be, I've said it before, that had it been this government, aside from making sure elections are free and fair, call together all Nigerians. Mm? Like in this remaining three months, they use and schedule meeting, make them talk a lot of things with them go feed, which I feel is not, not the incoming government. 
Now the incoming government, government then go do that one. They will, they are going to come out and actually, you know, do. They're going to come out and um. They're going to come out and uh, how do I put it? They're going to come out and you know have a dialogue. Because me, I feel if you call only the southeastern as to come have a dialogue, I tell you nothing as go talk. Be the better as go talk. The Rubanitian people go talk. So the thing is, the a dialogue is supposed to be, you know, all all geopolitical zones come and represent your your zone, hmm? and people representing these zones are going to be the common people. Come and represent your zone. By the time you go there, represent your zone. That is course. Then everybody knows. Everybody now knows. Oh. See what's in this particular region they face. See what's in this particular region B. See then this one. See this one. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Then you can now have peace in the land. Because me, I don't know about you. I crave for Nigeria to be peaceful. Without peace, we cannot find growth. There cannot be development and there cannot be progress. If there is no equity, first of all, there cannot be justice. And if there's no justice, there cannot be peace. If there's no peace, there cannot be growth or development. Take it or leave it. Hmm? Take it or leave it. Alright, so, uh, to me, this is a good one, but make Soludo follow through with action. I'm the Coco. It's not by saying it's a good one. Make him follow through with actions. And another thing I will say is that if they're not looking at it from this angle, they should start looking at it from the angle that this man will influence the crime being committed, you will know who to, who to pick. There are a lot of people, just like they said in the news here. Let me let me rephrase that particular part. I said let me rephrase. Let me say it again. Everyone has turned into a freedom fighter today, using it as a cover for their criminal activity. So in order for you to know the one will be true or lie, you need to carry the one will be say people stand with. That person, I'm telling you, you need to stand with the one will be saying are true. And and now the candle now, if it's the true one, that means automatically he comes in and talks to his people. Then it is not going to be easier. It will be easier for them to say, okay, um, now this one, now then no follow. Now this one, now then follow. All right. And another thing I want to say is that um, uh, for the elections, there is no I'm going to end the news while speaking for the elections. For the elections, I want us to think about the choices we are going to be making in the next, you know, in the next um, few days. Please let us know that it is our choices, it is your vote, your choice, but it is our, our consequences or rewards. So for that reason, for that reason, um, you you should vote or choose wisely. All right, on those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.